Hello and welcome to the monthly vlog date for June 2018, which is also Pride Month. So, happy Pride Month to everybody. <laughs> Still feel like I want to do something for that, but um, I mean, I have visual novels. Anyways, for anyone new to this, um, basically this is where I'm going to be talking about just my thoughts on PS Plus games that are going to be free for this month, and just something in general. <laughs> that I just feel like I want to mention. So anyways, let's get started. So, first up on the list for the PS4, which surprisingly this month seems to be pretty good, um, at least on the PS4 side. Uh, so the first game on the list is XCOM 2, which for anyone who does not know that, basically XCOM 2 takes place after the first XCOM, in which humanity loses and is taken over by aliens. Except for whatever strange reason, the aliens are helping mankind, but there's something secret going on in the background no one seems to know except for the people from the original XCOM that's managed to survive for however many extra years since the alien war basically occurred in the first place so yeah it's a tactical turn based game with a bullshit uh dice rolls basically <laughs> but I mean it's kind of what makes it fun in the first place and even then you can also customize your soldiers to, if you want, friends and relatives to go out and bitch at because they can't hit a point blank. <laughs> or cheer them on if they're succeeding. I don't know. <laughs> it's a game that I probably plan on maybe streaming, <laughs> if anything, and just adding whoever happens to be in stream watching to be part of this crew. <laughs> or probably I'm just going to do a series of where it's just me and a bunch of people I know, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and just having them probably get killed because I'm not the greatest at <laughs> XCOM. Even though I've managed to beat the first one in a pretty stupid way. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that is uh, the first game for free, surprisingly. Pretty big game, if anything. Next up on the list is Trials Fusion for the PS4, and this game is... I'm not sure what you describe it. <laughs> Uh, from what I'm reading from here, it's a platform racing game, which basically, from what I've seen, because this game was popular for a while on YouTube, where basically you drive on a bike and just get to the finish line, basically. Except, from what I hear, it's pretty difficult to drive. <laughs> so, I mean, from my perspective, from just watching people, it seems like they're being stupid, but it probably is difficult to drive. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna find out. So yeah, that's the PS4 games are free that seem pretty interesting, given that these two games are pretty big games, if anything. So next up is on the PS3, which the first one is Zombie Driver HD. Which from what I could tell from the trailer, it's kind of twisted metal in which you drive a car of some sort and you apply guns to it. And instead of finding other people in other vehicles, I guess it's zombie apocalypse, so fuck it. Go out in style and just drive around with the car or some sort of vehicle and just shoot the shit out of everything with flamethrowers, machine guns, and rockets, and probably other stuff that I'm not sure that I saw in the trailer. Um, or, you know, just road kill them. So I'm not sure how you possibly lose. I imagine this game might be something like it's small arena of some sort, and it's just to rack up as many points as you can before you die or run out of gas. So, it seems kind of interesting, so probably could go check that out for anyone has a PS3. Um, the next up is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, which I don't entirely remember what this game was, <laughs> especially from looking at the trailer, because I think this one was a co-op game that you could play up to four players in the campaign. I'm pretty sure there's a PvP, but the only thing I've ever known Tom Clancy games are for its PvE aspects and that they're usually tactical games. <laughs> so, and I'm pretty sure you could still be tactical in this game with um, three AIs. So, it seems interesting. Sci-fi shooter. Sci-fi tactical shooter. <laughs> with, apparently in this one they introduced UAV and stealth camo, I guess. But anyways, yeah. 
That's the PS3 games for that. Now on to the PS Vita's. So, for the first one for the PS Vita is Atomic Ninjas. Which, from what I can tell, is a... Sort of party game, except for Vita. Where you play as ninjas. And instead of throwing shurikens, I guess you're just throwing balls of sort. Because it seems like the only way to kill one another in this weird ninja fight game is to knock people off the map in some way, or into environmental hazards. And yeah. And there's apparently a couple of game modes you play. But the whole point is, you, and probably with friends, I would imagine there's no ads, um, but you and friends basically beat the shit out of each other. Something like in... I don't know... St Frog and fucking the name, because I don't think I ever corrected it in the last video <laughs> that I mentioned, but Starwall and Towerfall Ascension? But the, that whole idea of an arena and you're fighting each other. Except this is a Vita game. That, from what I looked, apparently it's also on PS3. So there might be cross by. Just a chance. Next up on the list is... A uh, puzzle game called Squares, which apparently there's a hundred levels of some sort uh, where you're supposed to be quick at pressing squares. Seems kind of stupid and boring to me, um, but I mean, if you like puzzle games, if you like puzzle solving, I guess Squares is a game for you on the PS Vita. Seems very simple. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a game, I guess, and it's free on Vita. And so yeah, that's all the PS Plus games uh, for free for this month. And like usual, I'm not entirely sure if there is cross buy for some of these games because I saw that you could get Atomic Ninjas on PS3. So, despite what the PS blog that I'm reading up on says that there's no cross buy there's been times a couple times where you could cross buy them for free so yeah again that's the ps plus games for the month so if you have playstation and you have the ps plus might as well get them and try them out because they're free so now on to something i want to talk about which who i'm interested in <laughs> so yeah let's get to that so as a sort of i guess in a way to in some way, <laughs> have more celebration of Pride Month in this video of some sort, I don't know, something LGBT related in a way. <laughs> and by that I mean a BL visual novel, <laughs> which I would imagine most of you people who have been watching this that are subscribed to my channel probably know me or subscribe to me by watching my playthrough of uh, a certain game called Camp Buddy. <laughs> and, um, apparently a while ago, um, they released an update of when, a, just how things are doing, and in it, towards the end of the whole uh, announcement thing, apparently they announced when they should plan on getting the game released. Apparently. <laughs> so that's exciting news. Because from what I've seen from everything that they've been posting about the game, like, it's looking great, <laughs> even though I know there's, even though a lot of the, I guess, CGs of sorts are just fun, it's just the fact that the art seems to, getting, to be getting even better, so I'm excited to see what sort of the CGs will be in the game, because <laughs> um, we're all pervs at this point. <laughs> um, but apparently, they plan to release the game in August of this year. So that is what? How many months away? I want to say that's like two or three. So yeah, apparently that is about three months. If you include this month anyways. So about 32 ish months. Depending how you count. <laughs> um, but yeah. August. So that's exciting. Because hopefully I can get it. <laughs> hopefully. Given how popular for whatever reason those videos are getting. Because I think. I don't know. Last time I checked it was at like 50,000 views. Like, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> still surprised me that people are still watching that video. Or those sets of videos. I mean, hey, at least people are enjoying them. <laughs> Even now, because I still get comments on it every now and then. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that was about it. But I mean, other than that, I mean, 
so far it seems like progress on Camp Buddy is doing pretty well. Uh, so that's exciting. So I really can't wait because even then they also announced sort of, hey, here's more characters we're having in the game that I did not think that they would do. <laughs> there's a lot of characters as is. I'm like, more people! Are people to like <laughs> in some way. Because there's a couple of characters which I'll probably have a link description since I mentioned this anyways. Link description for you guys to check out the update of the game, but it's just like we're apparently going to meet, I think, the parents of all the main characters that we get to date, <laughs> apparently. Or a dog, which I imagine I know who that's for. <laughs> Given that from what I'm looking at, the shade is in purple. So yeah, pretty sure I got a good idea who that's for. <laughs> Um, but I mean, it's exciting <laughs> to see how this game's gonna come out, because this game's been out for a while, I think. <laughs> and just how much progress they're doing, how long it's been taking, I'm like, this game is gonna be exciting! Because <laughs> I think it might be the game that I most anticipate for for the year. Because <laughs> other than any actual game being made by big companies, I've not really given a shit out. <laughs> This I'm like, cool. Nothing exciting, <laughs> given how big companies have been are lately. I'm not liking it. <laughs> I've like gotten less interested in big game companies than anything. <laughs> and just more ever so on the indie side of the industry, I guess. Um, so, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what else I want to talk about, given. Not like I promise anything, because I promise it takes me a while to get done. <laughs> uh, it's because of certain things I've said in the past, I'm still working on. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I guess if you guys enjoyed this video, I think I made this a little bit quicker than usual. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, go hit the like button. And if you want to see anything I do and any stupid nonsense because I fuck up words a lot, um, go subscribe button to be notified of anything I do. If you got anything to say, say it in the comments below, and I don't know, maybe tell me in the comments below if you're also excited knowing this game camp buddy is going to get released fairly soon than I thought it was going to be. Because honestly, I thought this game was going to be released probably next year, <laughs> or at the end of the year, but it's like halfway through the year. So yeah, so anyways, that's about it. I don't want to make this video any longer, it's probably raised. <laughs> so goodbye, I'll see you guys in the next video, comrades. <laughs>